Even in the fetish world, there are strict rules and regulations for what's considered appropriate. Popular fetish site FetLife has 32 points of terms and conditions. Under the prohibited conduct section, there are 42 things that are not allowed on the site, including the selling of firearms, releasing the price list of a phone sex operator, and sexualizing murder. Guy who tried to date six women in one night defends himself included in that list pictures of period blood as of seven months ago. At the start of the year, FetLife announced that due to the political climate, the site could no longer allow members of the community to publicly share sexual pics and vids containing blood visible in them. As much as this news saddens us, there is nothing we can currently do about it, the site said at the time. The news WASNT well received. This pisses me off quite a bit, wrote a Redditor. FetLife shows no transparency and it's therefore quite hard to show any kind of care or understanding for this policy change. This is a huge, huge change, wrote one FetLife or in response to the announcement. Much of what we do in kink can cause occasional blood. The news has more than 47 pages of comments, calling for further explanation and criticizing FetLife for blocking the enjoyment of any kind of sexual stuff that involves blood. The announcement did and go into whether the ban would include period blood, but according to one user, even photos of perfectly natural menstrual fluid have been removed from a public profile. Amy, a member of FetLife for the past four years, told Metro.co.uk that after posting some photos featuring menstrual blood, she received a message notifying her that the photos had been set to private. We can no longer allow kinky public pictures with blood in them, read the message. So I had to set yours to private. Please, do not take this as a judgment against you and your kinks. Like a condom, this is just a necessary thing for everyone's sake, even if it doesn't feel great. For what it's worth, I'm really sorry that we had to do this. The photos were no longer visible on Amy's profile. She requested further clarification on the terms conditions of the site, but HASNT received any more information about why her photos are no longer allowed to be public. It shared a few self-portraits that featured menstrual blood, some with blood in my mouth, others with blood on my body, Amy explained to us. It was part of a series one created for my own pleasure, which I found empowering. We're taught to hide our menstrual blood, so I wanted to own it, to use it to create something beautiful. She tells us this is the first time she's had a photo taken down from FetLife, and hadn't seen or heard anything about the site's fairly new regulations on pictures showing blood. She's disappointed that a site that she's always considered to be open and welcoming has deemed menstrual blood inappropriate for public viewing. I've always thought of FetLife as the one site where you don't get censored, Amy says. You can truly express your sexual identity and the community praises you for it. It's such a welcoming place, that making some things friends only feels like you're being shunned. She's also worried about what the ban suggests for the site's future, and how this could affect all the people searching for a place to express their sexuality online. I think it's a shame that the site is being pressured by the political landscape and the knock-on effect that has on the community, Amy tells us. I'm worried that the site's openness will be compromised and users will be forced into smaller, more private corners of the internet. For many people, there is no other place to go where you will be so openly accepted and understood. After the initial announcement about the ban on pictures of blood, the site posted a second statement, going into more detail on why the rule had to be made. Essentially, it comes down to three risks financial, legal, and community. FetLife explained that they had received multiple complaints from merchant accounts and credit card companies the part of the site that allows FetLife to process credit cards and make money about blood, needles, and vampirism and illegal and immoral content. Misguided take down their send me nudes sign after 9,000 people sign petition they say they had to close certain accounts to avoid risks of fines from large credit card companies. The legal risk refers to antiporn bills in the US, the digital economy bill in the UK, and BPJM in Germany. FetLife said they had concerns about the very real legal risks of allowing certain photos to be shared publicly on the site as a result. The community risk bit is more complex. If we hope to win the war, if we want our society to be more accepting of us, then we can't give them a reason to vilify us, wrote FetLife a few months ago. We need to stop making ourselves the easy target. As a result of these factors, the site tightened its guidelines on banning content, including content that shows non-consensual acts, anything impairing consent, anything showing lasting damage such as deep cutting, hate speech, and anything that falls under obscenity. These guidelines aren't intended to be a negative comment against your kink or your fantasies, they wrote.
Some things we believe can be done ethically, like CNC or hypnosis, but they can also be considered non-consensual in a legal context, and we have to take into account the opinions of the authorities and merchant accounts as well to not only survive but thrive as a community. We get the increased community guidelines. But while we can get our heads around making photos of blood caused by injury private, there are already rules against sexualizing murder on the site, so it makes sense for FedLife to legally cover their backs by banning bloody violence too. We don't understand why period blood would NTE be allowed. There is nothing weird, gross, or morally wrong about involving period blood and sex. Menstrual fluids are a natural, healthy thing that comes out of the vagina each month. Period blood is just part of the vagina being the vagina. Period blood is the only blood other than nosebleeds that don't indicate some kind of violence or injury, so surely it should be given the okay, if the issue comes down to violence and the implication of pain. It's pretty tricky for FetLife to claim the removal of the post-ISNT down to judgment when there's nothing inherently violent about a photo of menstrual fluids on the body, especially as in places outside of the fetish community. Period blood is still freely shown as part of sex period sex videos are all over Pornhub, for example. We reached out to FetLife for some explanation of why they're unable to allow photos of period blood on the website but they didnt get back to us by the time of publishing. Well update this story if they get back to us. In the meantime, the incident raises some serious questions. Will the site of period blood stains be allowed? Where is the line between appropriate and not allowed when it comes to menstrual fluids? How can a site claim to be a safe haven, where people can explore their kinks without judgment, if they don't allow pictures of a natural part of the body? And where will those who need a place to explore their sexuality, including an enjoyment of period blood, go if fed life continues to prohibit menstruation from the site? And finally, why, oh why, is period blood something that, we repeat, is just something that comes out of the vagina once a month, still considered taboo, even by major fetish site's name has been changed. To view this video please enable JavaScript, and consider upgrading to a web browser that supports HTML5 video more. Putting a makeup sponge in your vagina is not a genius hack for having period sex more metros A to Z of fetishes G is for gerbils, glasses and grannies more artist creates painting out of her own menstrual blood to start a conversation around period poverty.